You want funny? Funny? You want funny? You want funny? You you want funny? We got your funny. Funny here. Funny. We we got your funny. We got your funny right here. Right here. We got your funny. Today's 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 funny. Today's funny. Today's funny. Today's funny. Today's funny. On today's Muddy and Funny. Squatty Potty, how I long to take you with me when I go. But you don't fit in my suitcase. Ah, the Squatty Potty. If you've not experienced this modern miracle of molded plastic at the base of your throne, you are missing out. You could also be full of shit. The updated version now includes eco-friendly materials and looks more like lounge furniture in the spa instead of something you might see in your grandpa's bathroom. There are knockoffs too. The Tushy Ottoman says you'll poop at 100%, which actually sounds kind of scary. A couple of bad tacos from a food truck and I think we've all pooped at 100% and then some. West Elm has the Ooh La La Sloan Step that appears to work for the tub too, but I don't poop in the tub, and I hope you don't either, but hey, to each his own. Just remind me to use the guest bathroom when I visit. What I'm waiting for is the packable version. One, I can slip out of my suitcase after a long day of traveling, eating food that doesn't exactly agree with me and probably not drinking enough water, set it up in the hotel bathroom, and go. Because I'm so used to pooping at 100%, or nearly, I don't want to cross those tushy people, it would be nice to continue pooping at capacity when I'm on the road, too. Or would it be anti-capacity? Having to maneuver the thin plastic bathroom trash receptacle under my toes while practicing a potty version of balancing on my coccyx bones and trying not to slip is hell. I'm terrified of getting stuck there. I make sure my phone is nearby so if I'm suddenly four or five inches shorter, I can still reach it to call, seriously, who the hell am I going to call if I'm stuck in a toilet seat like a hermit crab trying to relocate? Squatty potty people, what would it take to make a travel-friendly version? Something that won't set off alarms when being scanned at the airport. Because, as some of you know, not everyone knows what a squatty potty is, and trying to explain it to a non-believer can make you look like you're full of shit. The material would need to be strong, but would there be hinges? Would it fold in on itself like an origami crane? Or would there be pieces to slide together in a puzzle-like design? Just an idea to ponder while you sit where many ponder. If you decide to take me up on my idea, I'll look for a check and a couple of to-goes in the mail. You're welcome. Written and read by Nancy Arvizu. Video and music by Gary Chapin. Thank you for listening to the Muddy M. Funny M. Now that was fun.